What's up, challengers? Welcome to the gym. My name is Gym Leader Geo, and this is uh, GLG The Return. I, you know, I haven't put out a non-GBA related video in a while, and I'm kind of feeling it today. I don't know. I'm just in a good mood. Uh, it's my day off, and I wanted to put out a battle for you guys. So today's battle is going to be uh, a return to the monotype series that uh, that I've grown so fond of over the years. Last GLG The Return, uh, we saw our last battle with these chicks don't even know the name of my band, the All Choice Banded Team. This week, we got a new team for you guys that I put together, and I'm pretty proud of it, and I'm kind of happy with it. It's called Four Eyes, and it is a All Choice Specs team. So let's go over the roster. You probably know all of these mon are hacking the Choice Specs as the item, so I'm not even going to go over that for each of these guys. I'm just going to really quickly run through what they're all bringing. We've got Sudzy, the Rotom Wash. He's running Volt Switch, Hydro Pump, Hidden Power Ice, and Trick. He's a bulky variant so we can get a slow Volt Switch off. Um, Hidden Power Ice is going to help me with those ground types that are going to come in and resist that Volt Switch um, if I predict it happening. Got to be really predictive on here because there's a lot of, uh, you know, a lot of risk for getting walled and if Pokemon come in on the wrong time. So. Uh, that's what he's got there. Packing 16 EVs in speed because the common um, speed tier for fellow Rotom Washes is uh, 12, I believe, and 16 also allows me to outspeed non invested or slightly invested B speed 85s. So there's that. We're gonna go on. We've got Finnegan the Shaman. Shaman is rocking the Seed Flare, Earth Power, Dazzling Gleam, and Healing Wish. I'm really pumped for this set. He's running Timid Max Speed so that I can uh, potentially outspeed or speed tie other base 100s. Um, seed Flare obviously is gonna be my move of choice. If people are gonna try and switch in and take that Seed Flare, um, like say, I don't know, a Heatran for example, then we've got Earth Power to hit him there, and then we've got Dazzling Gleam, we need that fairy coverage, J-I-C. Healing Wish is because I think it might be nice to uh, to get a little support on this team any way we can. Heatran DMC, the Heatran, he is running Flash Fire set, and he's running Fire Blast, Ancient Power, Earth Power, and Flash Cannon. This is a pretty expected set. Uh, he's my primary switch into things like Talonflame, and um, other Mon like that. I'm pretty excited with this set. Uh, he's running the bulky variant. Um, bulky specs, you know, uh, what, what can you say? A little bit in speed just to potentially outspeed fellow Heatran and kill him with the ancient power. You know, I, I considered uh, making this guy a max speed set for that fellow speed tie, but you know, I decided against it because I do have a lot of levitators on this team, so I'm not that worried about my potential ground weakness that I might be seeing in fellow heat trans. I'll just switch out and deal with him that way. We've got Sweetie Bell here, uh, running the Keldeo Justified with Scald, Secret Sword, Focus Blast, and Icy Wind. I'm not positive why I have the Focus Blast on there. I made this team a while ago, I made a couple edits today, but this was not one thing I edited out. Um, I could put a Hidden Power there, we've got Scald, Secret Sword. Secret Sword is obviously there because Pink Blob is going to be an issue to an all-choice Specs team. Uh, Scald over Hydra Pump because uh, I think the burn chance is... We've got to have some support options in every one of these Pokemon because god damn it they're all choiced so uh, you know I'm not going to change this we're just going to keep going on. We've got Blue Eyes White Dragon Bewed! Bewed Deladios with Levitate he's got Dragon Pulse, Ice Beam, Thunderbolt and Psy Shock just to round out that coverage get me another uh, uh, electric type option for coverage and then my last Pokemon I recently made a change here because originally this last Pokemon was Landorus but he uh Landorus I, but he got banned. So uh, he's up in Ubers now, uh, resting with the best of them. Hype the Gengar. He's running Shadow Ball, Sludge Bomb, Focus Blast, and Trick. I was considering Dazzling Gleam in that last slot, but I think I have enough answers for the Dragons. Uh, a lot of ice in various Pokemon on my team. Sweet Bell, Bewed can answer to Dragons. Um, and Finnegan has the Dazzling Gleam. So I think I have enough answers to Dragons. I didn't need the Dazzling Gleam. Ultimately, I think Trick might just be useful uh, as a potential answer for some of the other Pokemon that could give me problems. So, that's the team. 
We're gonna go OU no Mega, and we're gonna look for a battle with four eyes, and I'm really excited. Just waiting for the battle. Any minute now. This is taking a while. I guess people aren't on right now? What's going on? I guess we'll come back when we find a battle. Yeah. Oh, no, nope, never mind. Here it is. Okay. So. Okay, things to note. That Gly score is going to be a problem for Gengar. Uh, those two. Don't be a lie. I didn't pack, um... I didn't pack Icy Wind or Hidden Power Ice to take care of him. Kofa Grigious, uh, I should be able to take out with the correct mix of Pokemon. If this is a Calm Mindset, I'm not super happy with that. Um, but I do have Psy Shock here, and I do have uh, a Steel type there, and I do have, even though it's resisted, Secret Sword on him. Crobat is a potential lead. These three are potential leads, very serious potential leads. We've got a U-turn option here, a U-turn option here, and Skarmory for the rocks. So, um, I don't, obviously I don't have any way of getting rid of rocks. So, luckily none of my Pokemon are really that concerned with them. So, uh, out of, I have a safe switch into the, to this little gentleman here if he leads with him. Uh, but I really do predict the Crobat lead. So I think a best option for me is to lead with... How about a Keldeo? How about a Keldeo lead? Against the Skarmory, that is an... Uh, an okay-ish matchup. He's gonna go for the Rocks here. And... Scald will do okay. Let's see, who in this team resists Scald? It looks like nobody. So let's just start powering off some Scalds. Skarmory can take two of these and get his rocks up. He's guaranteed some rocks here. At the, at the very least, he's guaranteed some rocks. Um, not sure what else he might want to go for. He could be scared of the substitute. If he is scared of the substitute, then he'll go for a whirlwind here. I get a scald. Two of those will kill him. He goes for the toxic, which is an interesting play. Um, but I hit him for 55% there, a second Scald should take him out, and it does. So now Skarmory's dead, and the only thing he got out of that was a Toxic on Speedy Bell. Talonflame is going to come in, he can finish me off um, with that Priority Brave Bird, unless I make the obvious switch into Heatran, which I will do. He is going to go for Acrobatics, which is a very interesting <laughs> move on his part. Uh, Ancient Power is the most I can do to this guy, but there is really no way he's staying in here. I mean, I just really don't see him staying in. Um, looking at that, uh, potential switch-ins... I mean, I could just go for the Fire Blast, but he doesn't really have any Fire Resists anywhere. And yeah, no Fire Resists. Flash Cannon would be good if we predict a Clefable. Uh, Ancient Power will hit these two months. That does it, phone. You're on the bed. That does it. I'm quitting YouTube. This is stupid. <laughs> just kidding, guys. Um, okay, let's go. Let's just go Fire Blast here. He's going to switch out into the Gliscor, and I'm going to hit him with a Fire Blast, and that is going to decimate this fool. Not bad. Uh, he's probably got the Earthquake. He could go for a... He doesn't need to go for a Protector since he's got his Toxic up. He could go for a sub, but I'm not really willing to risk that. Um, if he's going for an Earthquake, Viewed uh, can come in and then Ice Beam next turn, um, but he might have a knockoff. So the only person that's levitating that, yeah, I can go Sudzy and I can go Sudzy and Hydra Pump. That wouldn't be bad. Let's do that. Sudzy's coming in. He's gonna go for the Protect, which fails. Gets a little toxic back. Uh, and I'm gonna go... I could go for the Hidden Power Ice here, but I think I'd rather just go for the Hydro Punch since it's stabbed. He's gonna go for the Protect and seize the Hydro. Get a little bit more health back. Now he's likely gonna switch, but no one really wants to take a Specs Hydro. Like, no one on his team. He doesn't have any resists for water. Gliscor is a very annoying Pokemon. You guys have heard me many, men, uh, make mention of this in the past. Gliscor is my least favorite Pokemon. Um, a while ago, I used to really enjoy him. He's gonna go down. He's gonna let. He's gonna sack it. 
All of those protects for nothing. Oh boy, not bad. Not bad at all. <laughs> uh, it's fun when you get uh, like a, a team like this that's choice locked into everything and they don't have resists to things. You know, because it's so risky to have a Sudsy in here and, and popping off those Hydro Pumps, but... Okay, not bad. Now, he can't switch into Cofagrius, not bad. I was wondering if he'd do that. Uh, I can't risk getting Heatran hurt here. Uh, I have the Dazzling... No, it's not going to do anything. Shoot. So, what do I do here? I don't have... That was one thing I noticed in, te in the team building process when I was doing this. I didn't really have much of the ghosts. Um, I can definitely do a massive amount to this Fabulous with his Shadow Ball. But... That would involve me switching in and being safe doing so. So maybe I'll just keep popping off Hydros with Sudsy. He might go for a status effect here. He could go for a Trick Room. I don't see why he would do that because he's got two very fast Pokemon here. lagging a little bit here guys so uh let's try hydro pump let's just stick in and go for the hydro pump i missed the hydro as he goes for toxic spikes okay he's probably going to want a second set of those toxic spikes uh that's a strange decision because i've got a lot of levitators here a lot of them and a steel type in fact that only affects the already poisoned pokemon and finnegan who has natural cure that is such a massive waste for him such a massive waste we're going to go into finnegan here the only Pokemon who could be poisoned. Uh, and we're going to go for the Seed Flare here. No, we're not. Because he's going to switch into... He's going to switch into Talonflame. So, um, let's go... Directly into Heatran right now. He goes for Iron Defense. Why is... Oh. <laughs> okay. Sure. He's gonna go for Iron Defense. Um, he's got Mummy. I'm not gonna make contact with this guy. Uh, Clefable would resist basically nothing here. Clefable's not a good switch in to me. Crobat doesn't like Ancient Power. Talonflame doesn't like Ancient Power. Cofagrigus is weird. Uh, yeah, let's go for, um, let's go for Fire Blast here. I land the Fire Blast and almost kill the guy. He goes for a Pain Split, but, uh, one more is gonna kill him, so let's go for it again. Who does he want to switch to? Because he doesn't want to lose Cafagrius. Not <laughs> after that. Um, so he's probably gonna take a minute to make his turn here. Calculating to see uh, what the damage was that I got. So, hmm. Can I draw? What's going on here? I'm kind of lagging. We go for the fire blast and take him out. Carfagrigus goes down. He's going to switch in Clefable. Um, what I could do is... What do I think he's going for? Because normally I kind of wall Clefable. Like, this would be a safe switch into Clefable. He could start going for... Calm Minds, but I still think I'd be able to two-hit KO him with my Fire Blasts. However, I could also switch into Gengar and just trick him on whatever he's doing. I'm, uh, I don't want to risk losing Heatran because he is still a safe switch into the Talonflame, who could do a lot to me otherwise. 
And I think it would be pretty easy for me to... Let's go into Sudzy here. And get the trick off. As he goes for power-up punch on me. Physical set, not bad. Let's trick this guy. Uh, I might outspeed him. I did not invest heavily in speed, but I am still 212, and a max speed Clefable is only 240. So, I have a pretty good chance of outspeeding him here, locking him into power-up punch, which is the last movie. No, I think it would let him do the next move. Oh, well. <laughs> it's still, for me, it's still a really fun move, and it's going to definitely hinder this Clefable, especially if it's a power-up punch physical set. Especially if that. You know what, I probably should have just gone for a Volt Switch. If I'm being honest, I probably should have gone for a Volt Switch. But no, uh, I give him the choice specs and take his leftovers as he goes for Amnesia. Mmm. <laughs> this was exactly the problem. I was... Oh, God damn it. I could go into Finnegan and start standing C4. Well, he's stuck doing Amnesia until the end of time. Like, there's nothing else he can do. I can come in and secret sword him, and even though it's resisted, there's nothing else he can do. I'm gonna Volt Switch out here. And go into... Hmm. Hmm. Let's Psy Shock him with Latios. Yep, yeah, he's just gonna keep going for Amnesia, as I'm gonna pop off a Psy Shock here. Nothing can switch into this. That's going to do 57 as he continues to Amnesia rather than switch out. And uh, Psyshock's going to take him out. Likely switch in here would be Talonflame, but I don't think Talonflame can one-shot me. Just saying, I don't think he can. I think I have sufficient bulk that he can't kill me, and I'm pretty sure I can kill him in return with my... Psyshock. So I think I pull the 6-0 out here <laughs> with the unlikely contenders. Hurry it up. There's the Crobat. Not sure. Maybe he's going for U-turn. Maybe he's scarfed and going for U-turn. I'm 319. He has the potential to be 394. Uh, I could resist the U-turn with Sweetie Bell. Bait out the... Uh, flying stab and go into heat turn. This is too much though. I think I'd rather just take the U-turn and then kill the talent flame. So, you know, he's gonna go for the Brave Bird, which is not gonna kill me. Um, but then I'll kill him with Psy Shock. I gotta try and preserve this 6-0. I think the way to do that is to go into Heatran and then pop off an Ancient Power. I think that's how we do it. He goes for Acrobatics. It's a crit, but it won't matter. And uh, Ancient Power should clean up. This is go for Swords Dances. I, <laughs> I love this team so much, guys. I love it so much. And I get the massive boost at the very end just to add insult to injury. So that was a really fun battle. <laughs> that was a really, really fun battle. Oh, man, I really enjoyed that. If you guys are enjoying this series, please leave me a like. Uh, share this with your friends, etc., etc. We've got a GBA match coming out for you guys real soon. As always, my name is Jim Lee DeGio. You guys are the challengers. Thanks for stopping by, and I'll see you guys next time.